Hello guys, so today... <laughs> I fully just lost the thread. Is this too dark? Today I'm going to be buying and testing or trying on Pride products. Probably mostly bad ones, I'm not gonna lie. So yes, the plan is I'm gonna go into town and buy Pride products, it's really that simple, and then I'm going to be trying them out. Spoiler alert, I have already gone and bought the products, so I do know what I've bought. And this was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Here I was thinking that I could just like stroll into town and every store would have a Pride section and I could just have a laugh and pick out the bad products. Well, it started off fine, I went into Primark where they had quite a huge pride section. It does seem like some of the things will be donated and stuff, but either way, there was kind of a range. I feel I feel like I can't lie. Most of it was very ugly. <laughs> I really hope that whoever designed these things are not gonna watch this. But yeah, I went around, picked a couple of things, and obviously I'm gonna show you all of them later. Then I went on to a couple of different clothing stores, and there was nothing. Like, the thing is, usually I would be like, rolling my eyes at the pride sections a lot of the time, unless it's cute. But this time I was like, going looking for it. So I was disappointed every time I didn't see just like a huge pride flag and ugly designs. And I'm not joking, I walked around for five hours. I also went into Disney. I was gonna get something from here, but it wasn't super ugly, so it wasn't that fun. And it also was super expensive. So I was like, okay, I'll just show this in the video and that will be fine. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I went to so many different stores and I was about to give up on this video, but then I realized I'd already committed because I spent the money in Primark. So I decided to press on and go another day into town. I was just strolling around Tesco looking for some non-rainbow Skittles. Couldn't find them, but then I see it. I see a rainbow flag on a random shelf and I'm like, I, I can feel the gay. I can feel the, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. My gaydar was tingling and around the corner, there it was, a pride display. The actual display itself didn't explicitly say pride. I won't lie, I have never been so shocked looking at such a small number. They donated 5,000 pounds. That's even worse than the M&S sandwich, which I also looked for and they did not have it anywhere. <laughs> so though I thought originally this was gonna be a big flop, I eventually found some things. But without further ado, I think it's finally time to reveal all of the products I got. So, let's do it. For some reason, this just feels so cursed. Like, the something about this setup is just not right. The first thing that I got... Stay, please. These are Pride flip-flops. I was thinking about this in the terms of like, okay, you're wearing this to Pride. And if you have ever been to Pride, you know that you would not survive five minutes if you wore these to Pride. You would walk home with like half a foot if you wore these. I bought white Converse ones for Pride, not realizing how dirty it was gonna be. I walked home with black Converse. This is not safe. <laughs> I'm gonna do the unthinkable and put these on with socks on. Oh my God, they're tiny. But also when you wear them, you cover up the whole Pride thing though. <laughs> how do I show these? Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's just film a clip with my phone. Here is the close-up you never wanted. Here it is. Next thing out of the mystery bag. This, for some reason. Another thing that I looked at and was like, why? Are we going on a beach holiday like this? <laughs> very summer, very nice. Moving swiftly along, we have this. Now, okay, to be fair, when I saw this, I was like, what the f*** is this? As I was at the checkout, I realized Pet accessories. I literally bought dog <laughs> or cat, I guess, accessories not realizing. We also do have this bandana type thing, which does remind me of the guy who only wore a bandana to pride. That image still haunts my mind. Telltale sign that this is not for a human. I'm getting choked. <laughs> okay, imagine if this is how I f***ing died. The final thing from Primark, and I'm so sorry to whoever designed this. It's a rainbow t-shirt with black font on it, underlined with a white halo. Also, I have a thing where I like hate quotes with a burning passion. Oh, it's an awful fabric as well. Are, am I gay enough yet? I don't, I don't know. This is a hate crime, I think. 
Why is this so in the pride section? They really snuck in there with like an insult. They were like, you know what? The gays are clowns, so what would I have done without the Tesco clown rainbow wig? What am I doing with my life? I'm not sure if they call this rainbow and not pride because they want to keep selling the products if they don't sell out during Pride or if they don't call it Pride because they're like if you're homophobic, it's just rainbow, it's not LGBT maybe it's both, maybe it's both now honestly, this final thing is not even specifically Pride it's not even specifically gay but to me, it is so gay I had this as a kid don't even think my mom knew what she was doing when she bought me this it's a grow your own prince okay, I'm gonna actually do this for this video so you will see what happens this is the instruction Seems very simple to be honest. We just fill it up with water max 35 degrees wait two to three minutes to see that it like Comes out of the shell then we apparently pour out the water and Refill it. Oh, it's already losing his color. He's gonna turn into a little prince. I'm so excited I feel like this could almost have been a video on its own. It's bubbling a lot. It seems like it's happening possibly one eternity later. Still taking its sweet old time. Kind of feeling like we should pour out the water now. <gasps> there he is. Oh my god, he's right there. Wow, he's just standing on that platform, chilling. Look at our little guy. I will show you guys the final result. Okay guys, after like a day and a half, I haven't been able to have him here for the full 72 hours, but this is how he's looking. I don't know how big he actually is because obviously the distortion of the water doesn't help. I'm so tempted to like open this whole thing, but I'm not going to, at least not until he's fully, fully um, grown, I guess. So I guess if you guys want to keep up with my little, little guy, uh, follow me on Instagram and see him on my stories. So yeah, those were all the pride things I could find around town. I started out thinking this video was a fail, um, and I still kind of feel like that, so I'm gonna feature the this one more time. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> uh, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this, whatever this was. And also, I hope you enjoyed the little feature of the frog. Please give this a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Goodbye.